A lot of people ask me how I end up with such nice, cooperative, well-behaved foals. And to me, that's a really simple question. I start out with great mares. A lot of my clients breed a mare because she can't do something. Uh, I breed my mares because they can do anything and everything I ask of them, including be an exceptional mom. So uh, the hard part for me breeding my mares is I I lose riding time on them and I love riding all these girls and for them to produce a wonderful foal for me um, you know, takes away from that. But the upside is I end up with an exceptional mare and producing an exceptional baby and raising it up to weaning for me so that it not only takes on her genetics and her mitochondrial DNA, but it gets her temperament and her uh, her habits. So I think that's where a lot of people go wrong is they, they've got a bitchy mare or uh, an uncooperative mare or a lot of times a lame mare, a mare that didn't hold up to use. And they say, well, what else am I going to do with her? So they breed an average or even below average mare to a really nice stallion thinking that's good enough and the product will still be better than the mare. And that's asking a lot of the stallion. So my personal philosophy is start out with two really good parents to end up with a really good foal.